Hitman opens fire at a Virginia baseball field where Republican lawmakers were practicing those shots lasting for five to 10 minutes with up to 100 shots fired. And we have learned since earlier this morning that one congressman was shot. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is among at least four people who were injured in that shooting. Scalise is listed in stable condition right now. We have learned the identity of the shooter. That shooter has been identified as a 66 year old man from Illinois who has died from his injuries. Let's go now to Blaine Alexander who joins us from Alexandria. And good afternoon to you. Just a short while ago, President Trump addressed the country, speaking from the diplomatic room of the White House, and he confirmed that the suspect is now dead. He died from gunshots sustained when officers returned fire earlier this morning. Now, the suspect is being identified as James T. Hodgkinson, a 66-year-old man from Illinois. But right now, officials say that it is just too early to establish a motive. They don't know if congressional members were targeted. They're not calling this an assassination attempt, and right now, the the FBI is stepping in to take over an investigation that is just getting underway. A man with a rifle opened fire this morning on Republican members of Congress practicing for a charity baseball game. We were doing batting practice and um, all of a sudden we heard shots and uh, it was clear pretty quickly that there was a shooter there with a high powered rifle. Witnesses say the gunman sprayed the field with gunfire and Capitol Police officers engaged in a gun battle that lasted for several minutes. It, it went on for about 10 minutes, uh, a lot, dozens and dozens and dozens of shots fired. And then all of a sudden I hear loud explosions and I look up and there's a man with a gun. Fortunately, he's a good guy. Federal officials have identified the suspect as 66 year old James T. Hodgkinson from Illinois. At least five people were transported to nearby hospitals. Among those hit, House Majority Whip Steve Scalise. He's drug himself from the dirt infield to the grass outfield. Uh, there's a trail of blood. Uh, we can't help him. We're helpless. I mean, we're, we've got bats versus uh, rifle. Not good odds. Witnesses describe a terrifying scene followed by acts of heroism. I think the security detail saved a lot of lives because they attacked the shooter. This morning, President Trump spoke out from the White House. We may have our differences, but we do well in times like these to remember that everyone who serves in our nation's capital is here because, above all, they love our country. As the victims are being treated, police are just beginning their investigation into a possible motive. And we are now getting some updates on the conditions of those shot earlier today when officials gave an update. They said that the two Capitol Police officers who were shot this morning are in good condition and they were praised for their brave acts in the face of that shooting. We also know that Congressman Steve Scalise, he is in the hospital. We're told that he's in stable condition. And when he spoke from the White House earlier today, President Trump wished him a full and speedy recovery. Live today in Alexandria, Virginia, Blaine Alexander, NBC News. And one of the congressmen who was at the baseball field when the attack happened was Michigan Representative Mike Bishop. Local force Rob Maloney joining us live now from our newsroom. And right, I understand that you talked to the congressman earlier this morning who described the, the hectic scene once those shots were fired. What did he have to say? Well, it was frightening stuff, Everard, to say the least. Congressman Mike Bishop today says that he's grateful for the majority whip security detail. He called them heroes who took down the man hunting him. And I mean hunting him and the rest of the baseball baseball team sent running for their lives. He saw the shooters start firing. He saw the whip get shot and he is, as you can well understand, shaken and saddened after getting shot at for at least, as we've heard, 10 minutes. He was hitting the dugout behind me and the chain link fence, just, you know, ping, 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 ping off the chain link fence. And uh, he was shot out a window of a car in the distance. I, 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 I just knew that. That's why I knew he was firing my in my exact direction, <clears throat> other than the whizzing over my head. Republican Michigan Congressman Mike Bishop stood next to home plate awaiting his turn for batting practice this morning around 7 a.m. when he saw a man enter the chain link fence surrounded ball field at the third baseline with a rifle and shoot minority whip Steve Scalise and wanted to go help him, but... I didn't know how many rounds this guy had. Uh, I, I didn't know if it was one, two, three shots, if he was done or what. But then he proceeded to, to just go ape and, and fire one after the next. And you could he had one magazine after the next. It must have gone on for 10 minutes. 
At least one person was shot near him. He said the whip security detail returned fire, giving him and a group of people the chance to run out of the diamond and hide behind a nearby building where they were dodging more gunfire as the gunman moved around trying to shoot them. I got blood on my shoes. I don't know whose blood it is. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know how to even respond. I don't know how to react to it. Um, it's going to take a while to sink in. Well, the congressman says that he saw fellow congressman Dr. Bad Wen Brad Wenstrup of Ohio rush to the aid of the majority whip and performed life-saving medical treatment at second base. The doctor has a, a military experience and combat experience, and so Bishop said that he marveled at how calm the doctor was in saving the whip's life. Now, we have posted my entire interview with the congressman on clickondetroit.com if you want to hear that in full and the chilling account of this attack, and we'll certainly have more coming up up on Local 4 News at 4, 5, and 6. Reporting live from the newsroom, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Oh, very chilling indeed, Rod, hearing him describe those very moments. Uh, very scary, in fact. Thank you for, for the update there. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell was just on a radio show with Congressman Bishop earlier this morning. I got a chance to speak with her by phone just after she heard what happened. She even talked about fearing for her own safety at times. I try not to think about it because I know that I am a target or work in a place that's a target 100% of the time. Whenever I defend my constituents in Dearborn, the um, vilification um, that comes and quite frankly threats at times is there. This is a baseball, it happens in, I mean, yes, this was members of Congress there. And fortunately, Scalise had his security there or that what could have happened to these guys could have been far, far, far more devastating. And we're just thankful that it was not. Stay with Local 4. We're going to have continuing coverage throughout the afternoon on clickondetroit.com. Our Kimberly Gill is also going to have live reports from Washington, D.C. starting tonight on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock.